Hey there, it's Dr. K. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to reduce radical expressions. So let's start with a radical. We'll do a simple one at first. We're going to do square root of 27. So in order to simplify this, we need to know what 27 is equal to. So 27 is equal to 3 times 3, which is 9, times 3. So 27 is 3 times 3 times 3. In order to simplify this, we're going to take this number right here, 3 times 3, and we're going to put it outside of the expression. So when you take the square root of a number times itself, it's going to simplify to that number outside of the radical expression. So this is going to be equal to 3 square root of 3. So let's say that you're given an even larger number. It's a little bit more complex. Let's do a second example. Give me number 1. Number 2, let's do something like 165. Our radical expression is the square root of 165. So we have to simplify it. The easiest way to do this is to remember that any number that ends with a 5 or a 0 is a denominator of 5. That means you can divide it by 5. So get out your calculator or your brain and remember that 165 divided by 5 is going to be 5 times 5 times 7. Once again, in order to simplify this, we're going to take 5 times 5, put it outside of the radical expression, and this is going to be equal to 5 times the square root of 7. So that's the answer. That's how you do it. That's how you simplify a radical expression. I'm Dr. K. Thanks for watching.